Good morning folks. So as the description says, part two is satisfactory. It is a uh, time to start looking at building the base. So I've done a little bit of work last night on this. I've got some um, portable extractors set up and I've got some resources uh, built up. I need to get more. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a storage containers organization. Storage container. Oh, need to get iron plate. First off, I'm going to close that door because it's kind of a bit chilly in here. And let's see, so that's, that's when that's booked. Right. I'll just grab my laptop because my laptop is my monitoring system. I used to have it on a VM on my server, but. I need kind of all the real estate space I can get just now. Although hopefully in the next month or two I will have a big TV in here that I can use for streaming monitor and that kind of stuff. Right. Okie dokie. Right, so what do I need to do? I need to make some metal. Let's see. Linear motion elevator, mark one. Now I do have a mod on this, I have a couple mods on this, let me load them up here. Mods. So the mods I've got is all nodes are pure, which is easy one. Inventory space mod, which gives me more inventory space slots, I think it's 50 slots. Linear motion, which lets me actually make elevators and that kind of stuff, which is kind of cool. Nuclear waste, cheap. It just makes the nuclear waste non-react, um, non-killable. Organized crates. Can't remember what that actually does. Um, organized crates gives us every crate that spawns in the world will be moved to a unique crate placed by you. Okay, so that's for when I get to big, uh, get further in the game when I'm building things and it goes basically tits up and I can't find the things I'm looking for. Um, So that one is that is uh, a good one for li for later game when you're taking buildings apart and that kind of stuff. Um, it makes it so that all the crates that you get from the stuff that's excess that won't fit in your inventory just goes into one big ass dump crate. Right, let's restore that one. And where are you? Is it this one here? Uh, is that one there? Right. Okay, there we go. Right. So, um, waste shielding again. That's for the radi radiation. Um, it stops the radiation from the nuclear reactors killing me. I don't have any just now anyway. You need five grid, easily build foundations from anywhere in the map that align with each other. So, that makes things a bit easier. Right. Um, I need 600 um, iron plates and 600 rods. <sighs> oh, it's a bit chilly in here. I'm only going to be on to midday today, so just under two hours. Uh, cause I need to get some stuff for dinner tonight for the wife and my kids. 
I'm thinking we might do... Maybe do a roast chicken, I'm not entirely sure. Some roast chicken, some primo potatoes, maybe. I think it's an eight letter later on. Right, so I've got quite a few things getting built now. Almost done with iron plates. So, I've been humming and hawing about what to do with this, um, this set of, of mine. Um, one of my friends, Laird Forbes, who's an, an R streamer, uh, he's also one of my moderators. Oh, never mind. There's another one. I'll tell you in a minute. That's I've got a monitoring system set up nicely. So the subscribers don't see the adverts as much. So, that's one of the reasons why I do it. Right, so, what do I need for this? Right, uh, advert ends in about 20 seconds, will I think? See, my, my Streamlabs tells me it's an advert going as well, so that's quite handy. Right, anyway, what I was saying was, um, my friend Laird, uh, I don't know, it was Andrew, he, um, he recently upgraded his local server. Now, him and I have similar ideas in servers and similar technology in servers, but his now is a heck of a lot faster and better. Um, He's went from an old i5, I think it was, a really old i5, I mean, my old i5 that I've got server beside me was current date, let's say, um, far better power-wise than his was, uh, until recently. I just went off top of me there. Let's go. Um, so he's upgraded his from a i5 series, I think it's a, a gen 4 or something, up to a uh, gen 12. Now, I was looking at the numbers of it, and I'm thinking, would it be worthwhile me doing a similar upgrade for my gaming rig? Now, looking at the prices, I can do most of the upgrades within a few months. So just buying it piecemeal. Um, I also did look at buying a whole new computer. It's a pre-built one, but yeah, that's not going to happen. £2,000, which I don't have. And I think my missus would go absolutely apeshit for that. Um, <coughs> sorry. My missus doesn't do about getting the Xbox in the first place, but yeah. Um... So yeah, I currently have an i7-8700 with a 2070 Super RTX graphics card, which it does well. I guess you can see I'm getting 103 frames per second just now with all this going on, which is not an issue. It's still good. Um, but I am thinking... Should I maybe look at putting some upgrades into this thing? 
Right, let me just get the... Right, so let me just switch over the stream for a second here. So... This... The kind of spec I'm looking for... It would be going to DDR5 RAM. It would be an Intel 5, an i5, 1360K, which is a cracking bit of kit. It's 14 cores, 20 threads, 3.7 gig. Now, my current i7 that I've got here just now is 6 cores, 12 thread. So straight off the bat, it's got more cores and more power. Um, my standard clock on my i7 is 3.2 gigahertz, whereas the standard um, clock on the i5 is 3.7, so it's a faster base. Now, I'm just thinking, would that, just, do you guys think that would be a, a worthwhile upgrade, putting money into the into that and moving my current i7 which is running perfectly like I said moving that into my server or should I just build up a new system so because what I, what I had thought I've got an old box in the left hand in the far corner of the office. It's an empty case. I got it out a while back for free, which is good. It's always a good price. Um and I had thought about using that case for a PC for my wife. Now we do have enough space in the office for that, that's not an issue to do it. Um she does use this my game my streaming PC quite often when she's doing marking. No issue with that at all. It's there for us to use it. Um, but I'm just thinking, do I then basically build up and spec up a full PC for myself and give her this one, or do I? What do I do? Because this PC is fine. This PC is running absolutely no major issues. Sweet, issue free. And you get. It. I don't know, I'm just trying to think, because I've got a sponsorship deal starting in January, now do I possibly speak to the sponsor that's coming on about getting another computer, which would be even with $2,000, or £2,000, or get them to pay from your graphics card, I don't know. I'm just trying to think there. There's a lot of things I want to do. I want to get this set up so that I'm simulcasting to all different platforms. I want that to happen, but doing that just now, I don't have the cash to buy Streamlabs Ultra or Restream.io. If you do the free version, reduce it to 720p. I don't like that. I like having the full HD. I don't watch 720p, so why would I stream in it? Um, I'm not a snob. 
when it comes to that kind of stuff. I, I'd like having good quality stuff. Who's in Discord just now? Is he there? No. Hmm. Forty seventy TIs or seven hundred not quid. The price of things these days is just stupidly off kilter. Like the the whole computer, I can get all the parts for this computer apart from the graphics card for the price it's going to be for the bottom graphics card. So if I look at my Amazon list here. What's missing for that? It's on this scan one. Oh, the RAM is gone. Oh, <coughs> the way the RAM's gone off that. Weird. Um, there we go, there's Corsair Vengeance Ram just now, which is a DDR5, 32 gigabit. For eighty nine ninety nine. Well, there's also the, the they call it the Crucial Pro RAM. I'm not sure. I'd use no. Well, Crucial is part of Micron, so would that work? Okay, add that to the list anyway. So add that to PC upgrade to twenty twenty four. There we go. Let's view the list. So, I'm looking at about £700 for the parts. That's the RAM, the cooler, the processor, and the motherboard. Now, if I do it through Amazon, obviously I get free delivery. If I do it for a scan, I'm like £12 for delivery. I'm not worried either way. Um, I just don't know. Because I could do it piece by piece. <laughs> Whereas, like, say, I get the processor and the, the motherboard and the RAM in one shot. Actually, no, I can't do that because that'd be too much. I'll get the G I'll get the CPU one month, get the motherboard the next month, get the RAM the next month. But then it'd be three, four months before I can actually use the body computer. But it might be easier. Hmm. See, I hate having these kind of first world problems. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure, like some of my sponsor. He, um, if he wanted to do the upgrades on his computer, he would just go and do it because he's got the bloody money sitting there. Which annoys me because I know fine well he could help me out. He probably will help me out. 
Um, Because, like, so the PC, the system I've got just now is a hyper-threaded um, core, so I could, I could just chuck that on the Android server. It's the same chipset as what's in there. So I could just do CPU to CPU transfer, that's it. I don't know. Ideally, I'd like to have another computer the other side from my wife to use as her own. And it would just have her log and it wouldn't have any mass stuff on it, it would just be purely hers. And also change out the... Change out the motherboard on the server. So it's got a two and a half gig nick. I don't know. Anyway, let's get the game going. I'm gonna make 100 iron rods just now, that way I've got some spare for doing all that stuff with. This is just to crunch down the stuff. I'm not going to be making anything too elaborate just now. This is just purely for resource management. cable. Right, 
Actually, no, I don't. Don't have both these on at the same time. Right, so let's chuck in the copper ore. Copper ingots. <coughs> yeah, it's going to be pig slowly now, but that's fine. that same set up there so I'll get another 600 copper for that lot I break sorry This mod I had on this a while back that actually allowed me to build a bit of a facility. And basically, I actually, I'll take that stuff back out. Copper in. Um, and with that facility, it auto harvested the stuff from my Popo Miners. I missed that facility. It doesn't work anymore in the new patch. Um, right, so conditions. Here we go. What's that? Spawns Ocean Sun out of Force Foundation every up. Alright, cool. Hey, Doggo. Yep, I just realized that I, well, I killed my power plant now. It's fine. Um,
I like Hanwell on the same level. So, let's see. Okay, that was good. The flow pedal was actually take up, uh, use up less. The consume less petals per minute. And like so the grass and that kind of stuff. So I can put water stuff over on really here when we finally get to it. So it's a copper in place there. Yeah. Right, so it's production.
So you're going to be mining iron ore. So let's get, I can start talking up here. I actually get a smelter on here first. So, are you even, not even lined up right? Minor. <coughs> this is all just a temporary thing. I'm going to be making a heck of a lot more um, stuff later on. God, no, that's a ton of concrete out there, so. So So I've got until the eighth of December until I get paid. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just trying to find some who this is doing there, sorry guys. Selling it, I'm buying it. Come off it. Can I stop being utter garbage, please. Right. Um, I'm watching out for like the Xbox Series X coming down in price. So I'm thinking of if I maybe buy my Elgato card this month. Series X will come out come down eventually. But the <coughs> <coughs> That's one of the games I've got as well actually guys, sorry. Um the Series X, great console, but the deals they have on just now with it are pretty crap. Um because there's games that I don't want to play. I hate Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It is one of the most annoying games I've played for a long, long time don't really want to play it. But, <coughs> sorry, in order to get a Series X console at a reasonable price, you have to buy Call of Duty. 
Um, what was I going to do there? I was going to. Oh, yeah. Boat storage. So let's. do is I'll build this out, make it too deep. Um, organization, storage container. Well, that helps. Yep. Organization, sorry, container. Still crunching through copper, that's fine. No, it's not iron ore. Got a thousand and one iron ore on me just now. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the. Turn this off. So production is paused, so.
what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one smelter there. One smelter there. Right, so. Organization, logistics, let's get a splatter in here. Thanks for the follow, Wilvin. I appreciate it. Just try to get everything sorted out here for um, trying out stuff for the base. This stuff's going to be changed many, many times. I'm a very OCD person when it comes to this game. It's not always a good sign. Um, tons of flower petals, that's good. So right, so what I'm starting to make up. Masses first. Okay, so this crew is just iron rod now, is it? Okay, that's interesting.
saw, and um, please getting chucked out just now, that's fine. Should have enough to actually do that. Unlock here. There we go. Um, right, so let's. Need iron rods. These are quick to build because only take one second per build. So let's get this parts assembly done. So I need to get 200 rods. Got 77 just now. <coughs> Where did my tablet go? them today. I have a tablet here. Well, uh, it's up there. Um, a Windows tablet I can use for looking things up, but I'm still not going to charge it because my daughter keeps using it. Well, I could use her tablet, I suppose. It's <coughs> fine. I can't be bothered moving. Ooh, right. right, so let's sort of this. Start crunching the rest of these iron rod plates, and then I will chuck what I need into there, and use the rest of it to make screws. I get 500 screws, which is good because that's what I need. How many balls is it going to? 63. Okay, go. Cool. Alright. It's not the most interesting game, I apologise guys. I know starting out satisfactory, there's a lot of planning and trying to get things right in your head. And for me that takes ages. I'm sorry. I love the game. <coughs> I love the game. It's a great game. Um, well worth the money. But I need to get, me I need to, um, get better at following planning what I'm actually going to build. And my older games, like they had big warehouse fa warehouse facilities and that kind of thing, and it was great. They they work really well, but I'm not. I don't like having construction lines going across the entire bloody map. So on my pre my previous one, when we had the mods in place, I had a teleport system in place. Now if they can get that mod to work again in the new version, I'll probably use that again. But it is very power hungry. There we go, there's the screws done. I need 200, 200 wire now. Or cable. That's quite good, you can just push space and it auto builds and uh, when it first started you actually had to keep you had to keep your finger on the, the mouse button to click it. Now if you press space it'll auto craft them. Launch. Alright, so... Assembly 
Right, so obstacle clearing, we need 500, 100 and 100. See, what will probably end up happening is I'll merge these two nodes together. That's a pure iron node. That's not a pure iron node there. I'll merge these two nodes together. Um, and what I what I quite often do is I'll build up rather than along. So what I might end up doing is have these two um, have the two minor nodes on the same level, so I'll build out so I'm doing that just now. Um right, so build these out then out here. That way they're on the same level plane. Um And what I'll we'll have is I'll we'll, we'll create it so it's, it's basically a big building. The the copper will do the same elsewhere, it's not an issue. We'll do the same with the stone. <coughs> so we'll have a building. The first floor will be the the miners. Second floor up, up to, upstairs will be the the, the smelters and all the rest of the stuff that goes there. Um, so what I might actually, what I might actually have is a smelter, a smelter, and then I'll move the power port away, but I'll put a bank of storage here. So it just all feeds into, let's say, maybe four or five storage containers that are here. I might actually have to move you. Uh, pick up miner. So if I do production uh, minor, yeah, so it does still reach it. Cool. Um, right, so if I take you out, foundation, let's put another foundation block on here. I'm not going to rejig a lot of this, which is fine. Let's cap that off. Production is minor. There we go. And power. It's not the most graceful looking thing I know, but that's fine. I'm not, it's not all about grace just now. Um, now it just comes a question, am I going to be close enough if I do this for the ocular arm? Good, good. Let's go to these ones.
good, looking good. Up we go. Right. And let's get another melt another um miner in here. So uh. ah. okay. Right, so I've got enough of that. Let's get this cable. Need an R. A wee bit of it. Welcome to the stream guys, I see there's a few of you just joined the channel, thanks for joining me. I'm just trying to plan out how my um, my buildings are going to go just now. Uh, you may just see me just doing this, what a lot of folk don't like people doing, is building on top of the resource wells. So my reason for doing that is I'm going to be building a structure basically around that so around the um, two miners, so I need to be able to have them the same height, and, and then I'll produce it all around. So what my plan is, have these two iron ore miners, then have the conveyor belts going up, and be a, a floor above here, basically purely for um, smelters. So these are pure nodes. So we can actually have 16 smelters on the go. Um, and then I'll feed them all down into like, the storage containers which I'm going to build up the back here. So this whole wall basically can be storage uh, containers. But I need to get a chainsaw to cut down these trees first. How's my biofuel looking actually? Right, so I need to get more screws. I've plenty of iron ingots, actually. Let's say. Uh, let's chuck that in there. Iron ingots, there we go. Whee! And. Yeah, just give me them. Fuck it. Now, I do have some mods on here just now. One is the pure, uh, pure node mod, so all my nodes are pure. I know it's cheating, but it's well worth it. Uh, I need to make screws, and screws are made from iron rods. Here we go. So, let's see, I'm going to have to go and get some more concrete by the look of things, we've only got 499 left. Right. I also need to build the MAM as well, I haven't even touched that yet. See, if anyone's seen any more previous ones, I overthink things way too damn much. I also overbuild things way too much as well. Um, I get a lot of inspiration from, like, say, Excalibur and um, Kibbutz and that kind of stuff from the YouTube videos. I watch a lot of them to see how things can get built and how we can do it, but. I'm nowhere near their level. Not by a long shot. <coughs> but 
update it's just came out so I'm trying to just yeah, play around with it again see if I enjoy it again and uh, we'll, we'll work on it from there now obviously I do have to head off in about half an hour's time to go and get some stuff for my kids to have for dinner tonight um, so I'm not going to be on for much longer I'd say like I say it's half hour 45 minutes at the most because I always have to get myself some lunch probably actually in my case some breakfast um, But what I'm thinking I might do today is try and get as much of this Mine built as I can. Let's we'll get a chainsaw going. Right, so I need of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R and D inflated your pocket dimension. Right, so. Iron rods, I need 25 of them for this. I'm just making up a, a chainsaw just now. Now we'll get some solid biofuel on the go. Right, so. I'll make 100 iron rods just now. And then I'll make some screws up. It is worthwhile doing this, guys. If you're going to need to be doing large build things, Add them to your list at the side. It makes it a crap load easier. Um, trying to figure things out. Let's add three of them. Let's get screws on the go. Go not too there with that, and then you see if I screws up, that's fine. I've not played this for game for a while, which is probably self-evident. But it, it was quite stagnant. I got quite bored of it. When you built up mega factories like I've done previously, um. Everything changes in your mind on a daily basis. I built, rebuilt, and done everything I possibly can uh, in this game at least a dozen times. I've got more ways of doing things. If you don't like them, that's not my problem, unfortunately. Um, I build how I enjoy it. Let's get the bow we're done. And get the biofuel solid fuel. So you need to have a solid biofuel for the the chainsaw. You can't just have at least you chuck leaves and that kind of stuff in it. It has to be a solid biofuel rod. Um sounds like that's the thing coming back down. The lander, yep, there we go. Wee. Right, change that all. And put that Zeno Zapper in there as well. So now I'm not going to power you on just now because you've got a ton of stuff to go through. Uh, yeah, still got an absolute crap load of stuff to go through. So let's turn this off and save power. One belt's a watch now. That's why it's going so bloody slow then. How do you get Mark II belt? Is that logistics again, is it? Yeah. 
A logistics mark two, yep, that's the one. Right, iron plates, let's crunch as much of that as I possibly can then out. So we need 300 iron plates. So we'll chuck that out, we'll do the 300 rods, chuck that out, and then I'll start working on the concrete. I've got enough concrete there for, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I do. Got enough concrete there. Um, I do need to go and pick up the copper and the limestone. It's a shame you can't set it to only make 300 of one thing. That'd be really kind of handy. So once you get to a certain point, stop at 300. So only need 300 to so just build the 300 of them. But it's not that easy. Alright, so I've got 170. There's 200. Um, let's see, where's the third 100? Go to 20, 222, 228, there. This is nowhere near as efficient as it would be if you were doing it for like say a constructor. But I'm not putting constructors up just now, they're going to be the next stage of the iron one. But I'm also preempting, like, so I need to get copper, I need to get coal and all that kind of stuff to make my my factory is still sufficient. That won't happen for a little while, but I want to get in on the... Why is that not take all of it? There we go. I want to get in on the head of that, because... What Melson's coal part of? Um, I need the space elevator. Okay. So I need to do the space elevator first, but I need to get all this stuff. I it up anyway. Right, so cash that off. Uh, iron rods. That's why not taking 300. Right, I'm going to be AFK a wee second, guys. Nature calls. Uh, leave that running as it is. I'm still on headset, so if anyone does message or that kind of stuff, I can still hear it. Okay, I'm back. Oh, uh, give me a reset to get some more juice, actually. Yeah, okay, okay. Right. So, yes, the old house is a bit better because in the old house, my office was in the, the kitchen. So when I went to the thing, I could actually see what was sold on the computer and see all the rest of the stuff. And I had my fridge really, really close by. Not anymore now. I've got a full room for the computers. And it's really bloody cold in here. <laughs> and then I've got my um, the hall and then I've got the kitchen around the corner as well. So yeah, bigger house, more space, but nothing's as convenient as it used to be. <coughs> anyway. That's my 
gripe. Right, so... Uh, reinforce iron plates, so I need to get how many? Okay. Right, so let's get some more iron ingots. That'll do me, thank you. Right, so iron plates and it's 200 iron plate, uh, reinforced iron plates I need. Oh, that's going to be really cold. You know what, I'm going to... Let's chuck some, uh, let's get all these made up first. Right, so... Okay, so I need to make 600 screws and 300 iron plates. That's quite handy. They've changed that. Didn't used to be that way. So, there's 600 screws, let's just turn that out. Well, let's do that, I'm going to nip into the kitchen. I'm still on a headset, so I can hear the ticking away. I'm going to make a cup with you, because I am absolutely bloody freezing. I might just put it in my own mug, though, rather than in this bamboo one. Doesn't really make Stay warmer much longer than normal anyway. Aye. I have new merch coming soon as well, guys. I've got um after the local rebrand, I've got some cups uh, with a new logo on them. And I'll be setting up a wee merch store as well, so that'll be coming soon. Probably in the year I'll start working on the website, getting all this set up properly. Have a merch store and get all my overlays redone. The logo is fine now, like you say, I've had the logo redone professionally, it is looking cracking. Um, I'm well happy with how it looks. So I'll be working on getting that all set up, getting the Discord all sorted out, so making it more... Um, more community-centric, rather than just you know, me sitting here yabbering away. Because I still, I still got the the um, Discord for the bunker, which is myself, Burnsy, Hydras, uh, Hydro, and a few other guys all stream together. They all stream, but never stream together. Um, but a lot of them are on hiatus just now. say I know Burns. He's um, he does more retro stuff nowadays. He doesn't like doing modern warfare as much, but He's hoping to come back to stream in the new year. Once he gets a bit more settled with what he's he's doing in life. Um Hydra he's down in Australia now, so he's trying to make a life down under. And the really and that kind of stuff, I haven't actually talked to them for ages. But 
I will be doing um, a brawl note sponsor spots soon as well. And get a price done up for sponsor spots and how long they're going to be and that kind of thing. Uh, I just need to actually learn how to do the, po the sponsor spots, possibly. So, I think it's actually every once an hour for th three minutes of an hour. Gives you 55% on Twitch, I'm pretty sure it is. But, the thing is though, this would be self made sponsor spots, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do, like, say, Raid Shadow Legends and that kind of stuff. The one that I've got coming up is for FMG Operations, and these guys, I'm part of that group. I wholeheartedly admit that I'm part of that group. I'm um, actually one of the one of the co-leaders of that group, to be fair. And they are going to be pushing heavy on recruitment for Star Citizen, which is a game that I am I have a account with. I just haven't played it for a long ass time. Partly because my graphics card is not up to up to giving it in good quality. This is a five-year-old graphics card, and the graphics in Star Citizen, they need a more up-to-date card. That was why I originally thought about putting, like, say, a, a, sponsor, a sponsorship goal or, like, a donation goal and go on the um, streams to see if people would donate and help me get them the money to do it. But I'm now thinking that if he's going to sponsor me, you can pay for the card. Or at least chip in some of the money for the card. Ooh. Ooh, I can't even tell if that kit was well yet. Probably has done. Alright, let me finish these reinforced plates off and then I will. Head into the kitchen and make my cup of tea. Now, oh, this is a wee luncheon. Milestone reached. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. To encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. Shooting petals. Um, six point six a minute. It is your twelve minute, so I run through that twice as much. Twice as quick. Right, so. Resource sink. <laughs> hey, let's do resource sink for one this one. So yeah, fucking get this one. Twenty reinforced plates. I need a hundred cables. And 
I need 20 rotators. Rovers. Right, so over. Cable have got tons of tons of wire to make up, that's not an issue. Um Iron plates, need 120 of them. Right, so rods, I need to have 100 rods. screws I know obviously I'm taking away the, the rods that I just made from making the screws which is fine a little balance out in the end um, oh, why is this not being cleared away I've left things in absolutely midden in the kitchen just now She's at work, so I can <laughs> basically say that. Um, she would say it was my job to clean it away last night, but. Oh, yeah, I see it. I made it, no, I. Afterwards. That's a different grape for a different day. So, um. So his body's dying. Wait a minute, anyway. See, I like having this cordless headset because it gets me a bit of freedom around the house. I can still walk about and still listen to music and that kind of stuff. But I get an older one, the uh, batteries are not doing the greatest on it. It's <laughs> just kind of self evident. I'm charging it pretty much every day or two days. You get over a week from. But I'm also using it a lot more as well, though. It's never a time if I'm playing games, I'm on the headset. Um, Xbox though. <sighs> ah, your bugger, that was hot. Yeah, I know. What a surprise, eh? Hot tea being hot. From anyone made any striking comments in the comments, yeah? Hot tea being hot. Sacrilege. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <coughs> right. So what have I got now? I've got 464 out of 740 for my screws. Where is the notch for this? There it is there. <coughs> Right, so I need to make some more iron rods. Oh. 
So I need to make another what? What is it? Four six. No, it's what seven point minus four six four. Two hundred seventy six. there. So they're slapping guys. It's always hot. Oh. Ooh, I feel good. Damn that good. Right. I'm gonna run out of uh, Iron Rose in a minute. No. Need more iron rods now. Okay, there we go. Right. So iron rods. Let's build you back up again. Yay! Right. And I need to make twenty rotors. Welcome to the stream guys, uh, see the viewer account just jumped up a little bit there. I am planning out my main, well, my primary first base. I'm trying to get some more of the unlocks done. I've not even started in the space elevator yet. I typically try and get things done before that. So, I'll be putting the space elevator down in a few minutes, probably. But I'm going to get this, um Into the reinforced iron plates go. Oh, I've not made them yet. Duh! Because I never put them on the list. Oh, I did actually, did it there. <laughs> yeah, when you're using, when you're doing the new game, keep a little list to your side if you can. Um, just add your stuff to your to do list. Makes things a heck of a lot easier. There we go, and I need a hundred cable. <laughs> now, with um, the next few weeks and months coming up, Obviously, Christmas is on the way around. Um, my play schedule is going to be a bit. S okay, I'm not sure what that was about. It's not going to be as set as it is just now. Because um, obviously, I've got more days off and that kind of stuff coming up because of Great Christmas and bank holidays and all that good stuff. Okay, so he's finished. Running through that, that's fine, so I can now turn you back on again. <coughs> right. Um what was I gonna do there? Oh yeah, go and get the copper.
busy, 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 busy. Right, copper. Grab you. Grab you. Grab you. And little gem in the corner. There we go. So that section of the copper I just got there. <coughs> I do plan to obviously make a copper mine there as well, so it's feeding through and link up to the warehouse. Um, just thinking now, actually. I could build it up there. Whee! Right, so you finished your task anyway, that's fine. So let's get more copper into you. So you can turn that away. And I'll nip out and get the limestone. Whee! I don't usually start in this area, usually I start in the, um, the forest areas. And I apologize for the adverts, I don't have much choice in the map. When we need one, unfortunately. I guess the option to snooze them, but we only do three snoozes an hour, which is stupid. <laughs> right, let me see now. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's good. Biofuel. If I didn't have so much um, biomass, I would just chuck it in a constructor. But so. Just seen my phone near um, Las Vegas Grand Prix, the first ever one to get done in the, in the city, of, from what I understand. It has been halted after a race car collided with a loose manhole cover. And at the speeds they go, that could be pretty damn dangerous. Now, my house is 16.7 Celsius. Okay. My office is a bit warmer because I've got the computers in here, but it doesn't make me feel any warmer. Right. 
No, she went off my off. I saw the biofuel just now. Okay. Your production, that's fine. You'll be moving soon anyway. Right. Walls. Basic walls. I am plate for. Oh, fuck off. Since when do you need iron plate for basic walls? Right. Again, so I've got a judgment, I'm going to do this just now. I need iron plate for bloody foundations as well. Iron plate. There we go. Right. Okay, so let's have a logistics splitter. That's fine. Um, Always something about need in this place. Right, so I'm going to put in two constructors. So I need two reinforced iron plates and some cables. There's a cable sorted out. So reinforced iron plates. I need. Screws. <laughs> so four of these. And give me some iron plates because I'm going to need them for the conveyor belts for the things. Give me a 60, there we go. 56, 58, 60, there we go. Right, so constructor.
Right, so I need to get even more iron rods. I normally wouldn't be merging two different things into the same block, but... Same storage box at the end of the run anyway, so it's not a major issue. So let's make you make iron plates and let's make you make iron rods there we go So one mine, two smelters, three into two of these, which is fine. Metal sheets, metal rods, there we go. Let's make you make Two hundred iron plates, two hundred iron rods, five hundred wire. And how much concrete am I coming for? Four hundred concrete. Two hundred rods and two hundred plates. Right, so we need five hundred iron ingots. I'm gonna need more limestone.
Yay. The mycelia within this fungus suggest strong molecular bonding features frequently observed in adhesives and medicine, both beneficial for field research. A new research tree can now be accessed in the map. Once I finish this job, I'm gonna head off, guys, because I need to get this. I just get some stuff done around the house and get some lunch before I go to the shops. I suppose I've got the bank actually, mate. I ordered that thing today. Let's finish the wire. Okay, so that's that done, concrete now.
can see it here, or a eyelashes on in my glasses, and it's annoying me. So it's Amazon software I'm to do. Right, that's fine. I'm gonna buy my Elgato stream card just now from a well known trading shop. I would rather pay by PayPal rather than paying by credit card, but yeah. Expiry date is. Save details. Make payment. World pay from FIS. Okay, used to be Bank of Scotland. Oh, fuck off now to verify my phone. To approve a, tra approve a transaction. Yes, it means making a fucking transaction. Just do it. Do it. approval bit. Yeah, you need me to approve things, so we'll let me approve it then. To log out the, the app entirely to reapprove the transaction for the purchase that I'm making myself. Just stupidity. Right. So that's them done. Uh, I do need to put that in. Put that in. Iron plates, I need 108 of them.
gonna have to adjust my USB settings, I think. What I'm going to do though guys, uh, rather than sitting here watching this, I'm going to end the stream here, grab some lunch, go get shopping, I will be back on, on Monday, I uh, might even be back on over the weekend, um, especially at night, because that's usually when my wife and that will go to bed and I get some peace and quiet to play some Beyond a Reason or other stuff. Uh, okay. So, what I'll do is I will bid you farewell, and I will catch you all later on. So what I'm going to do is.